Hi and welcome to Themeco. In this lesson, we will present some application examples of multibody systems. This is going to be a short video, but very concise and interesting. We will take a look at some multibody systems which are part of our daily life. You might recognize these, and that is great. However, if you haven't noticed them, you'll be surprised how common multibody systems are in our daily life. Let's take a look at some of them. Let's start with one of the simplest ones, the windshield wiper mechanism in a car. Let me tell you that this windshield wiper mechanism is based on one of the most common multibody systems, the four-bar linkage or mechanism. Hidden in the car hood, we find a four-bar mechanism action by an electrical motor. The primary purpose of this mechanism or why it is widely used is because it is able to transform a purely rotational movement into a different type of movement. In fact, depending on the lengths of the members of the four-bar mechanism when acted upon with a rotational movement in its input element, the mechanism will produce a characteristic response. One of these responses is the one that the windshield wiper does. Interesting, isn't it? Let me elaborate. These response movements to the rotational input are not random at all. There are certain conditions that dictate how the behavior of the four-bar mechanism will be. One of these rules, or the laws, is the Grassoff law. Grassoff's law can tell if the four-bar mechanism behaves like a double crank mechanism seen in the locomotive mechanism. The double rocker mechanism, which is seen in the windshield wiper of the car that we referred to earlier, and the crankshaft mechanism, which can be seen in the car motor, specifically the pistons. It seems that a lot of these mechanisms are in vehicles, isn't it? Let's check the other areas that might not be a part of our daily life, but somehow they are related to us. For example, robot arms in manufacturing plants. Another one. The mechanism of the helicopter blades is also widely studied by the multibody dynamics community. You get the idea. Multibody systems are part of our daily life and there is a large community studying new mechanisms and their kinematics and dynamics each day. Now this example, definitively, you didn't see it coming. The human body. Yes, as you heard it. There is a branch in multibody dynamics called biomechanics. Biomechanics studies the movement of the human body in different situations. It can be in sports, skiing, jumping, walking, and in many other cases. Now you would ask, why study the movement of the human body? First, to understand how we do what we do. Second, imagine understanding why some athletes perform better than the others. If we could just take a look at the details of their movements, then we could aim to replicate it in other athletes. Third, imagine that a person has a condition that makes their walking erratic or difficult. Research groups study the mechanics of this erratic movement to suggest apparatuses or therapies to help alleviate that condition. The purpose of our course is to give you the tools to immerse yourself in understanding a little bit more about why things move the way they do. When we study multibody systems, we know how to produce a determined movement, how to transform rotational movement into translational, and vice versa. We understand more about the structural integrity needed to withstand the loads, deformations, and the reliability of such systems. This is why the multibody systems research is so broad. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.